Hello everyone, and welcome to my days of Live's official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Theresa Donovan has reportedly returned to Salem, according to days of our Live's spoilers. Brady Black was instantly attacked by Theresa. Brady, though, turned Theresa down. The reason Theresa suddenly wants Brady back after all these years has puzzled fans. Theresa wants Brady right now, but actress Jen Lilly reveals why the character waited so long. According to DOL teasers, fans were thrilled to find that Lilly would be reprising her role as Theresa. The actress was asked to appear in the show for 12 weeks, but she was unable to. In three to four weeks, Lily was able to complete her task. Once a deal was reached, Lily arrived as everyone was still lamenting Victor Kyriakis. This assignment should last two weeks. Brady is still in shock at Kristen Dimura being granted custody of Rachel Black. Brady is also coping with Victor's passing and Vivian Alamein's shocking revelation. In Brady's life, a lot is already happening. So it came as a huge surprise to him to see Theresa at his door. Theresa arrived and pretended to be attending Victor's funeral, but Theresa put her lips to Brady's mouth right away. Theresa had to be almost peeled off of Brady like a banana. Theresa, however, is adamant that Victor wanted her and Brady to be together and that she belongs with Brady. According to Days of Our Lives spoilers, Theresa's newfound interest in Brady has some viewers perplexed. Theresa was devastated to leave Brady, but she never gave up hope that she would see him again. The main issue is that it was mentioned that Brady visited Tate Black in California, who was last portrayed by Kyle and Colin Schroeder. Naturally, Brady stayed with Tate at Theresa's accommodation. Theresa would have had a chance to attack Brady at that point. Brady, though, has never brought it up, so she hasn't either. Fans find it weird that Theresa has suddenly been interested in reconciling with Brady, Lily, however, outlined the situation involving Soap Opera Digest magazine. Theresa has apparently avoided attacking Brady in the past mainly because of other women. Brady was already dating someone else every time Theresa got the chance to get in touch with him. Eve Donovan Kristen and Chloe Lane were present. She heard Brady was single, so if she brought anything back, it's a quest to get Brady back— I have a chance this time, she is thinking as she returns. Maybe I can make Brady happy once more. We'll have to wait and see if Brady reignites their passion. The racer will undoubtedly stir things up in the meanwhile. Make sure to keep up with everything going on with DOL at the moment. For spoilers, news and updates on days of our lives, check back frequently. Your beloved Salemites are sure to stir up a lot of drama, according to the two-week breakdown of days. You won't want to miss any of the action, I promise. Belle's attempt to calm down her husband fails, and Sean's life takes a turn for the worst. Belle is inconsolable when he disappears. Sean is missing. Is he intoxicated and misbehaving? Nobody enjoys attending his pity party for sure. Stefan is ecstatic about his choices for the future over in Camp de Mera. His opportunities are limitless, and the future is promising, at least right now. However, he might want to wait a heated second before making any important choices. Vivian is simultaneously working to achieve her goals. Dot, and she makes an effort to work with Philip to obtain it. Will he accept the offer? This man may have been born by Vivian, but that doesn't mean he will obey her orders without question. Stefan's chances excite both Gabby and Stefan. Are things finally going their way? When Sean vanishes, Belle becomes distraught. As she tries to find him, expect a lot of fear. Wendy is caught by EJ trying to access his phone. Her charitable criminal spree might come to a sudden halt. The discovery of a new boss surprises Chad. This is Chad's new reality, whether he likes it or not. Philip has a proposal from Vivian. Will he nip you? Her hopes are high. Two couples are preparing to get married. It appears that the romantic summer lasts all the way into the fall. A startling finding is made by Maggie and Justin in Victor's bequest. Will this alter the situation once more? 
Regarding the forthcoming wedding, Sarah is torn. Is he questioning her choice in a husband? Philip is questioned by Chloe about his emotions. Does she also doubt her own? Melinda works to keep her position. She's in serious difficulties right now and barely hanging on. Harris and Ava move closer to Susan's location. The ticking of the clock may be clearly heard. Days of Our Lives can be shown on the W Network or Global TV app in Canada and Peacock, plus in the United States during the week. Check out the most recent day's spoilers for more information about what will happen in Salem, and go here for a detailed look at the show's history. Join the discussion on our Facebook page, peruse our Twitter feed, or keep an eye out for an update on our Instagram stories to learn more about what's happening on your favorite soap operas. I'll see you there. Every fan has their own perspective about Days of Our Lives, and Soap Hub is no different. We watch everything on Days of Our Lives for five days, the good, the horrible, and everything in between, and are providing you with a helpful recap and a light-hearted analysis of the episode that was. In my previous column, I wasn't particularly kind of Days of Our Lives, and the reality is that I haven't been as smitten with the soap opera lately as I once was. But if nothing else, this last week helped to pique my attention. Sean caught me off guard when he used a strategy from Belle's playbook to bet another person, saying, Oh, Kristen, that much I already knew. Ron Carlovati made amends for a grave wrong that had been done to Gwen Risjet, a legendary catalyst. Gwen Risjet Dimera, please, not Gwen Risjet. I was delighted to see Johnny and Channel, Raven Bowens, Reunited and Timothy's, special guest star Dick Van Dyke, introduction to his brand new, ready-made family gave me the warm fuzzies I've been demanding from soaps for quite some time. You're looking at one of Lucy Sorrell's biggest fans, therefore I'm delighted with her, undoubtedly fleeting, victory over those bothersome, self-righteous peons. Heroes uniting and triumphing over hardship is one of my favorite tropes, so you better believe I'm eager to find out how the Kyriakis family exorcises a she-devil from their midst. Asterisk, the only thing I can say about Carly and Jason, oh, I mean Ava and Harris and their quest to seek throughout London for Susan, is that I hope this particular plot is wrapped up toot nice and finishes with Susan back where she belongs, which is in Edmund Crumb's arms. Roger, I'm sorry. Asterisk, while I enjoyed Timothy's response to John and company's more incomprehensible stories, as if they were the most reasonable things he had ever heard, by far my favorite discussion was that between Timothy and Paul. Paul, Dad even visited last year at Gay Pride in San Francisco. Timothy, Gay Pride, oh my. Do you? Is Paul gay? Yes. Timothy, I understand, was going to inquire as to your marital status. Laughable and warmly progressive, without being overly didactic. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any update.